Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Gabriel from OA Genius, and today I'm going to be walking you through a quick uh, tutorial of Gravity, the product research sourcing extension that we offer. So the first thing you want to do is click the Try for Free button. Once you click that, you'll be brought to this page. You'll choose Try Gravity Free. And this is the sign-up process. You'll enter your first name, your last name, your email, password, uh, confirm your password, enter your phone number, and then you'll head on to step number two. Step number two is directions on how to log into your Amazon Seller Essential account and connect your marketplace to OA Genius so that we can, uh, so that our system can go ahead and grab the information it needs to match back items uh, in the Gravity extension and show you true profit calculations. So once you are finished with, uh, with connecting your, your marketplace, you'll move on to step number three, which is downloading the extension. You'll click the download extension button. Once you're over here, add, you'll just add this extension to Chrome. And then once you add it to Chrome, it will show up over here. You typically in the little puzzle icon, um, typically this little pin icon will be uh, grayed out. You'll click it to, to make it blue. And once you make it blue, you'll just notice that the extension will show up over here in one of your widgets. Now, once you have gone through this process, you can go ahead and search anything uh, you'd like on some of our supported sites. We have 13 total supported sites. You can find that information in our help center. Uh, if you go to oagenius.zendesk.com, uh, you will be able to search our help center for supplier slash source information. And in that article, it breaks down all the different suppliers that we support. You can also find them on our, on our homepage of our website. Now, for example purposes, I've already searched toy chess. So once uh, this loads up, I have a ton of different toy chess that I can choose from over here. And uh, looks like there's a ton of different pages as well. What I'll do is I'll click the Gravity Chrome extension and they'll load up all the items on this page and we'll be able to go ahead and perform an analysis. Now, before we start the analysis, what you'll first want to do is configure your settings within Gravity. The first thing you'll want to configure is this little settings gear icon. If you're uh, doing the online arbitrage drop shipping on Amazon, you can use you can just keep FBM checked off. If you're doing if you're sourcing for FBA and you want to get uh, profit calculations for FBA, you can check this off as well. And then over here, the last last thing over here, Walmart Marketplace. If you're sourcing for uh, Walmart as your marketplace and Amazon as your source, you can click that, and we'll, the calculations will reverse for you. Uh, for this example, I'm going to be going through FBM, um, and to the right over here. You can estimate shipping, estimate tax if you'd like. If you're not tax exempt from the supplier, you'll maybe want to calculate the tax as well. Uh, and then over here is history. So if, you, if I were to close this out, create a new search for grills maybe, and then come back in and click the extension, um, typically you'll have uh, all the previous results and the new results. So you can go ahead and build up a huge list of products. Um, but if you want to just clear it after each result page, you can click the clear button and it will clear everything. And the settings, you can also set a zip code in your settings as well. Now, once these are configured, to so the left-hand side, there's a little widget over here that slides open. And here's where you can set your filters. So you can set minimum and maximum ROI, minimum and maximum sales rank, minimum and maximum net profit, minimum and maximum net, net, mar net profit margin. For this example, I set a sales rank between one and a million. And maybe I'll do a net profit between uh, anywhere between one and 30%. Click apply. So now out of those 27 results, only four match that criteria. Let me slide this over here. And now we can begin to actually analyze the, the listing. So coming from the left, you have a few action icons. This little plus icon will bring the item to the buy list. A buy list is a short list of products that you've sourced and you, you, know, you want to list for the day. And you can go ahead and uh, right over here, you'll see this buy list. Uh, this, this product has entered the buy list. Um, and once you're finished, you can export the buy list, do a bulk upload into OA Genius, and we'll get that to that in a minute. Um, there's also another way that you can uh, get products into OA Genius Sage, and that is through this little purple uh, plus button, and we'll get to that in a minute as well. But before we do that, I'm going to go ahead and go through the rest of the columns. So right here, you have images to match up. Next is the uh, source URL and the, and the Amazon URL. So you have the Amazon to check uh, and the Walmarts. Uh, you want to check, make sure the item is in a 100% match. In this case, it does look like the item is a 100% match. So from here, I can look at, at the, uh, over here, source price is 99.99. The source is Walmart, that's correct. We have the buy box price, 
So there's no buy box, it's a suppressed buy box listing. So that was why it shows up as NA. We have the lowest FBM price. Next is profit. So we have the profit of $1.95. Um, if you were to sell the item at the competition, 121 $121.10. And this is a quick breakdown of how we calculate the, calculate the profit for you. And then we also have the sales rank over here as well. So that's just to let you know what the sales rank of the item is. Now, if I wanted to list this item, again, A, I can go through the buy list, or B, I can, I can actually go ahead and um, click this little plus button. And if you bear with me one moment. Okay, so when I click this purple button over here, it'll open up Sage for me. And not only will it, will it open up, but it'll auto fill most of the information for me. And you have a little buy list over here in case you want to go ahead and keep adding uh, the different products. So uh, just off the bat, it brings in the ASIN, the source URL, bumble quantity, and shipping costs. The last thing that you do is enter a, a SKU. That can be anything you'd like. For example, I can do um, my initials and then with those strings of numbers over there, and then maybe zero, one. That's just for example, a SKU can be anything you'd like. Um, make sure, just make sure it doesn't start with a zero. Uh, special characters, um, I would try to stay away from as well. Next, is to enter an initial price list on Amazon. As you can see, we have the lowest FBM price, lowest FBA, buy box, Amazon fee, source price. So estimated shipping, estimated tax, estimated total cost, which brings us to the estimated total profit if we were to sell it at this, this price, 121.09. Looks like uh, that's a pretty good price to, uh, to, to go by. You can do 121.09, 121.10. If you want to under, undercut them to 121.08, that's totally fine. And we will give you another calculation just to show you, uh, based off your initial price, what the uh, estimated profit would be if you were to make a sale. Lastly, handling time. You can enter a handling time for the level five and then click create listing. Once you click create listing, the item will be uploaded to simultaneously OA Genius and they'll show in the products list once you click refresh the screen and also to your Amazon Seller Central account. Now, this little icon over here, if you'd like to continue listing other products. You can click the purple icon over here as well, and it'll auto fill this additional information. You can change up the SKU. Maybe I just want to add a zero two over here, or maybe I want to actually take this uh, chain of numbers and flip them out. However you want to format your SKU, that's totally up to you. And then I'll go ahead and edit the, uh, the initial price as well. And for this example, uh, let's do, let's just say we're doing it for a hundred dollars or Let's do $98. We can see all those calculations change. So based off of 99, this would be the estimated profit. Based on 98, this would be the estimated profit. And again, handling time's already there. Click create listing, boom, you're done. So that's how you would uh, uh, upload listings uh, straight into Sage through the lister tool. Uh, you can also do an export. So an export, which looks something like this. You can go to the buy list. You have all these items in the buy list and you can click uh, if you want to clear your bias, you can click the clear all button um, and then export. It'll export it into a, into a, a CSV file. Once it's in the CSV file, there's just a few pieces of information you need to fill out in order to make a proper upload into Sage. So the first thing is the SKU. You have to create your own SKUs. So just for example, I'll create my own a unique SKUs for each of these items and I'll drop that down. Next is the handling time. So you notice the handling time is listing as well. Let's just do five. And then after that, listed by, that would be your name. So my name is Gabe. So I will choose Gabe over here. I'm listing these products. And then the initial price list on Amazon. So you'll calculate how much you want to initially list a product for on Amazon. Um, just for example purposes, I'm just going to put 500 for each of these items. I know that's not the correct uh, calculation for each of these items, but you get the point. It just needs to be filled out in order to create a proper upload. Once this is finished, you can save this uh, file and head back to OA Genius Sage and navigate to the uploads page. Once you are on the uploads page, all you have to do is click this little blue upload button, choose the correct file. Once you choose the correct file, um, it'll upload and you'll get either a success message or an error message um, uh, at the bottom left hand corner of the screen, letting you know if the items have been uploaded or what needs to be fixed about the, uh, about the file. Um, as long as you follow this, the directions in this video, everything should be good. Um, just to quickly review over. So we have the ASIN, the SKU, the source URL, the handling time, bundle quantity, source price, shipping cost, 
Okay, so one shipping cost over here turned out to be NA. You can just flip that back to zero. Listed by real name, initial price to list on Amazon, and those are the most important fields. So once those are finished, again, save it as a CSV, click the blue upload button, upload the file to Sage, and it'll take some time to get to get both into uh, into Sage for inventory management and Amazon Seller Essentials since it's a larger file, but it will eventually get into the, both systems and we will start to track the inventory. Okay, now, again, we can always clear the buy list. So if I wanna clear the buy list, just get rid of all the products there, we can do that. And then what, another cool thing you can do is if you wanted to extract either in the next page uh, on, on this page, so there's about, we make this a little bit smaller. You see there's about 25 pages. Let's do extract all, and it'll extract all based off of the criteria we have set. So I'm selling right between one and a million, profit margin between one and 30%. So slide that in. And as you, as you can see at the top left over here, it tells you how much percent has been downloaded so far. And as we go down, You'll notice more products are coming in, more products are coming in, and more are being filtered based off that criteria. That's a really awesome way to just go ahead and, and extract all pages in a specific category, wait for it to load up, and then just dive deep and add things, add items to your buy list so you know which items have been added. And then you can either use, even once they're in the buy list, you can do one of two things, the export, or you can do this little purple button and bring it into the lister. The choice is up to you uh, as to whether you want to use the, the upload, the bulk upload, or the listing the items one by one through this little button. And then once this is done, I have one last feature I would like to show you, and then we can uh, wrap this up. Okay, so now all the products have been extracted out of all the results. Um, what met our criteria were actually 18. So that look about look at how much time that would have saved you. So uh, based off that criteria I set, only 18 out of all the items of the 25 pages actually met that criteria and we were able to find matches for. That's something that you would definitely want to know. Okay, next is the little icon over here. You can actually go ahead and jump into a different supplier, let's say a Home Depot or even another page on Walmart and drop the link into this uh, box over here. And it'll add this to uh, all those items to the products. And this is just the, and this, the idea is to build a, a big enough products list so you can go ahead and analyze it and not have to keep switching by page by page. You can just keep adding, adding, adding. Um, so for example, you can just do fire pit. I'll copy this source URL, come back over here, paste it, click enter. And now it will start to extract all the different items uh, from there as many as there are, there may be a bunch of different pages. So 696 results. So this one may take some more time as well. So I'm gonna show you another way you can use Gravity. Uh, you can actually go ahead and snipe sellers as well. So I'm just gonna click a random seller, go to their storefront and click the Gravity extension. And again, I can clear these previous results if I'd like, just so I can get the new results over here. And once I have the new results, it's going to analyze all the items based off my criteria and looks like only one of the items met, met the criteria. So maybe I will go ahead and adjust my filters. And now you can see that you have the item uh, uh, from Amazon and then the source. So this is if you were to source items uh, and, and snipe items from different suppliers that we support uh, from a specific seller and get try to find the best available price for that item. So this is a great way to get some better product ideas, get, you know, figure out where, where, uh, where people are sourcing products um, from the suppliers that we support. Uh, so that's a great way to do it. Another way you can use Gravity um, is for Walmart uh, analysis. So if you're a Walmart marketplace seller, what you can do is you can change this to Walmart as a marketplace. And now all the, I, all the calculations from the buy box are now talking about the buy box on Walmart and how much profit you can make from Walmart 
uh, if you were to drop something from Amazon to Walmart. So that's really cool. All right, so now that you, you can see that we're calculating for Walmart Marketplace, if I change it back to FBM, calculations change, I can even add FBA if I'd like. And you can see if there's any FBA profit in any of these items as well. And again, back to Walmart Marketplace, and we'll give you those calculations. So I hope this was a helpful overview of the Gravity product research uh, extension. It's going to help you uh, a lot with just finding better products faster, getting the accurate profit you need so you can make educated decisions. You got the sales rank for reference. It's everything you really need in order to scale your listing process. And handing this over to a VA is totally doable. It's very user-friendly. Anyone has any questions about Gravity, feel free to contact us at success at oagenius.com. Again, that is success at oagenius.com. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us at success at oagenius.com.